Hi everyone, this is Lorraine. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about Bare Minerals Foundation. And I'll tell you what, because it is my miracle makeup. It just went all bouncy and I hope you don't see that bounciness, but it's my miracle makeup. I broke out really bad. I'm smiling about it. I broke out really bad because of a Lush Love Lettuce Mask. And I got that cystic kind of acne that sucks. And you don't want it. And I don't wish it upon anyone because it's horrible. But I had to think back to when I was 19 and I finally got my skin clear. And I'm like, when? How did I do it? I'm doing the same skincare routine. Every time I change my skincare routine, it breaks up. So I'm still doing the skincare routine. So I didn't want to change that. Thought, what foundation was I wearing then? I was wearing Bare Minerals Foundation and also Smashbox. So I went to the Bare Minerals store went there. Bought my foundation, started wearing it. Two days later, cystic acne, gone. It's awesome. I'm allergic to plants, animals, but I am not allergic to minerals. It gives your skin this beautiful glow, a kind of glow that you get compliments on. I never get more compliments on my skin than when I wear this makeup. People in real life do not compliment you. Once you get out of high school, once you get out of college, once you just start doing your own thing, normal people don't come up to you and say, you have beautiful skin. They don't do it. Just people start to care only about themselves. But when I wear this makeup, people, people care. People, people think I have nice skin. They talk to you, you know? It's kind of cool. Okay. Now, some things. One, in the video, I put concealer underneath my eyes. I do not use Bare Minerals Concealer because it does not cover well enough. If I'm going to use concealer, if your eyes are all puffy or whatever underneath, mine are puffy and irritated because my dog is blowing her coat. If you know what that means, tons like this, I could go through her coat like this and these big balls of fur come out, but they look like cotton. It's just what huskies do, apparently. Two, if you have nice skin already, and you do want that nice glow that Bare Minerals does. Um, you can wear like a tinted moisturizer and then just put the, the mineral veil all over top. Works out really, really beautifully. It, then it gives you that nice glow, kind of closes the pores at the same time. Number three, Bare Minerals is the ultimate foundation for the summer and these springtime months because it is not heavy like a foundation. It is nice and lightweight and it feels like you have nothing on. It's not like a liquid that might feel like it's gonna melt off in the summer. So it's real good. Four, I strongly recommend that you get one of their brushes or a brush like this one is really nice, the soft focus brush, because I can carry this in my purse and I can carry this with it in my purse. Makes it easy. So you want a portable brush. Me to number five, be careful because it will explode everywhere. Mineral makeup all over. Six, I'm going to show you how to apply it now. My lotion. And I've already applied, applied this the lilash when I apply my lotion in the morning. And then my eyes are a little irritated. So I'm gonna take the MAC Studio Finish um, Concealer. I'm NW20. And I'm just going to put some underneath my eyes because if you have bags or anything underneath your eyes, the um, Bare Minerals is maybe not the best. I don't normally wear concealer. Okay, so you apply the concealer. Don't apply the concealer anywhere else but under the eyes because I this will do the, the work. So this is my Bare Minerals. I am, um, my foundation is fairly light might be a little bit lighter than what I am. You want to tap it because it's been in my handbag. So when I open it, stuff doesn't come all flying out. So now it's all in there. And I want to put a little bit in the lid. Oops, way too much. Okay. So there's a good amount in there, which is going to be too much. So I take my brush. This is the... Mine's dirty because I use it. Um, soft focus face brush. And this one is for um, light to medium coverage, I believe. And I just swirl it in there. 
even though I know it's too much. You just keep swirling until you see that kind of all the other excess foundation has kind of gone to the edges of the container. And then what you want to do is you want to tap it. And you tap it until you see, right now when I see it, there is foundation just falling off because there's just so much. So I just kind of tap it until I don't see that cloud of smoke anymore. Okay, so there's that much went back in. And let's just make sure there's still stuff coming. That's the beauty of it. If you put way too much in here, it will tap off the brush. But let's try not to do that. Okay, so we want to start with our cheek and you kind of swirl it in. I just keep swirling. There's not really enough on the brush for my whole face. So you have to go in again. But I'm already looking a lot better. My complexion is looking a lot smoother. Don't forget to get here because you don't want a weird line. I just want it to be Beth, the best method is kind of to buff it into the skin. You don't have to use this brush. There are other brushes you can use. They have a full flawless face brush, which I used to use. Um, when I first started using Bare Minerals, you could use a little Kabuki brush. I just like this brush because it's short handle. I can put it in my handbag with the other thing, so that's nice. Next step with Bare Minerals. I don't always do this step because I sometimes feel like this is enough. Um, is the Mineral Veil. And there are a couple choices for Mineral Veil. You can either do the Mineral Veil, the plain, regular Mineral Veil, or there is a Feather Light Mineral Veil, which has like a little bit of a shine to it. So if you're already worried about being shiny, you probably don't want to go for the Feather Light. And then they also have a tinted one. And what's nice about this is the idea is that, there's a little bit in my lid already. I don't really like to use that much of this. But um, the, the idea of this is that it kind of sets the makeup and closes the pores a little bit. So I'm gonna, there's a lot. My god. My golly. So you kind of just put it all over. It's kind of something to set it. I don't normally always use the mineral veil. It's nice though. So now my skin looks flawless, has a little bit of a shine. The next step I always do is I always put my bronzer on. And I don't always do the Bare Minerals one, but today I will. This is in warmth. And this color is very pigmented. So, you have to be careful. I don't... There's already some in my lid. And with this, I need to be extremely careful. So I'm going to just... I put the lid and I just kind of tap it back into the container. Because it's, it's so pigmented. Now what I do is I kind of swirl in there with the exact same brush. And I want to tap this really, really well. And because this color is so pigmented... You can see it on there. I swirl it on my hand before I swirl it on my face. And then I kind of just put... in the areas 
than I want it to look like I was sun-kissed. So I take a little more and swirl it again on the top of the hand because see how much color And so that looks really nice, right? Thank you all for watching. I hope I answered all of your questions. If you have any more questions, feel free to write them below and I will get back to you. And do not forget to subscribe and to rate or rate. Even if you hate me, you have to rate me. <laughs>